Hey homies, welcome back. Today I have an art journal page to share. We're going to use some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. This is really old. This color is called Sea Blue. I've got three Distress Oxides, Stormy Sky, Salty Ocean, and Salvaged Patina, and two stamp sets. This is a Close to My Heart stamp set from last year. And then these Swirly Whirly stamps I've had for 140 years. <laughs> these are from Fancy Pants Designs way back in the heyday of scrapbooking and all that stuff they used to sell these giant 12 by 12 stamp sets actually they may have been bigger than that and they would have all kinds of stuff on them and i collected them up and then after over the years i realized i wasn't using them but these i used a lot so i did these are the only things i've kept from that but i think we need to get started what do you say i've got a piece of watercolor paper this is b b e e paper and it measures five by six. This is an art journal that I put together for this year. I just pulled out some watercolor paper scraps and went to town cutting them into rectangles and put them together with binder rings. I think I'm going to start with salvaged patina. I'm just going to cover this paper with these oxides and then I'm going to do the water and then a little bit of that tattered angels glimmer mist. And we've got salvage patina. I'm just going to do the top third here. And I'm going to move on to salty ocean, I think. And the bottom third, storm is getting. just a little soften those transitions a little bit oh yeah I like that now it's time for water blot. Look at that. Looks nice and bubbly, doesn't it? I'm going to go dry this and then come back and hit it with the glimmer mint. I'm really happy with the way that looks. You might hear the dogs. Doodles are playing kind of late in the day here. All right, so you give us a good shake. And we're going to spray across the center section. I'll dry this and I'll be right back. I even still have my giant fancy pants acrylic block. And I'm going to use this swirly here. It'll go about like this. And I'm going to ink it in the same order that I inked the page. So we've got salvaged patina. And then salty ocean. Stormy sky. And then we're going to flip this over. And look at that. I think everybody can see. Uh-huh. Didn't that turn out cool? Yes, ma'am. So there's our background. Lovely. I'm going to stamp and die cut a few of these shells. I'm just going to use whatever's left on these sponges and ink up a piece of watercolor paper. I do think I would like a little more stormy sky, so I'm gonna ink up my sponge again. A little 
four star in the sky. Okay, I'm gonna dry this and then we're gonna stamp with Jet Black Archival. I like this little pointy guy. Classic seashell, right? And then I'm going to stamp a few right on the page. I'm going to do a pile of seashells. shell. Probably fit that right there. Okay, and I'm gonna die cut these guys and I'll be back. But here's my pile of shells. Got those all cut, they cut nicely. I got some threads I'm gonna add into my pile. I've got gold, copper, and black. But before I add my pile, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Which says, a handful of shells and a heart full of dreams. I'm going to put it right about here. Lovely. All right, now let's cut some thread. A little black. A little gold. A little copper. Actually, I think I want a lot of copper extra copper. Okay, remember what I always say about watercolor paper. You need wet glue. So I'm going to use bare glue, of course, because you know that's my favorite. I'm going to glue a couple of these down. I'm just going to make kind of a pile. Of seashells. Put some foam on the back. Remember what I always say about watercolor paper. Use a wet glue. You will thank me for it. Give it a sec to grab onto there. I'm going to add more bear glue. And just stick it down. Right. This guy, do the same thing. Bare glue. And we'll do the same thing with this one. Let's see if that piece is probably just about right, isn't it? Oh yeah. We're gonna pop all three of these ones up. Start adding some thread behind it. And then add some glue. And then this one. Get this way and overlap a little. There we go. Then the last of our thread, we'll put behind here. And some glue. We'll 
trim it. Let's add a little bling around our shells here. I've got dew drops in here. It's my party mix. I love this blue color. Big old metallic blue aqua. Look at that. We are blinged out. I think as a final step, I'm going to use some of this Spectrum Noir gold brush on it. On this shell. Just one. So it's more of a focal point. Alrighty, I'm calling it done. Okay, friends, here's my finished art journal page for this week's Out of the Vault. I used some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I've had this for a hundred years. <laughs> Three Distress Inks. Of course, good old archival uh, jet black. Close to my heart stamps from last year. Fancy Pants stamp, and I think this turned out great. Now, the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist isn't as in your face as some of the other ones that we have now, like the Tim Holtz ones and all that stuff. It's just a real subtle shimmer, and the camera's probably not picking it up. Hopefully, the pictures will. And then I use the Spectrum Noir Gold Glitter Pen. So just a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of glitter. I hope you enjoyed this art journal page. Remember, be excellent to each other, and Go make something. Bye-bye.